Taylor Swift ruined the United States? These people can't stand Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift has become a billionaire. Kamala Harris supporters are done with all of the praise that Taylor has been getting for her ethical billionaire status, especially after Taylor was ranked just two spots behind Kamala in terms of world woman power. After being named the fifth most powerful woman in the world by Forbes, people have been extremely critical of Taylor Swift, claiming that there are reasons why she should forfeit her fame and her billions of dollars that she has racked up from her successful tour. According to Swifties, People don't believe that Taylor deserves her billions of dollars that she has earned, and apparently the likes of Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, and Bill Gates are all more deserving of their money than Taylor. People are also commenting on the fact that Kamala Harris has less influence on the population of American girls than Taylor Swift had at the age of 18. Crazy. People are outraged that Taylor Swift seems to be marketing herself to be the Swifty billionaire as an ethical one. And the Kamala Harris supporters are claiming that Taylor Swift cannot redefine the narrative of unfair wealth distribution in America. But Swifties are firing back, saying that Taylor's generosity in the times that it counts proves to be way more than Kamala has ever done. And Taylor deserves to be ranked where she is on the Forbes list. Taylor Swift recently handed out life-changing bonuses and gifts to the people who are helping her put on her beloved Eras tour, such as all of the truck drivers who she gifted $100,000 to each. And Swifties believe that all of this generosity makes it difficult for capitalist powers, influential media organizations, and and corrupt politicians to like Taylor. See, while Kamala Harris has not yet commented on Taylor, the Kamala supporters have expressed their opinion on Taylor's power-hungry billionaire status, claiming that there's no ethical way to be a billionaire. In fact, by being a billionaire, that itself is extremely unethical since you are directly contributing to the unfair distribution of wealth nationwide. Another point that these anti-Swifties have brought up revolves around Taylor's marketing technique, such as the promotion tactics and the manufacturing of her Eras Tour merchandise. Many are speculating that Taylor's merch is manufactured unethically in Honduras, and these people are adamant that there is shadiness going on behind the scenes. Although Taylor Taylor's collaboration with UMG declines these rumors as they claim that they are set on preventing any form of labor misconduct. The overall feeling from these anti-Swifties can be summarized in this quote by Ines Ventura of the San Francisco Foghorn, who said, while some billionaires participate in philanthropy and donate to charitable causes, their contributions do not forgive the immorality of their wealth. The sums they donate are relatively minuscule compared to their overall net worth. And according to a marketing report, Taylor Swift's unethical ways translate through the usage of her private jet, which are extreme to say the least, and polluting the atmosphere as she flies quick flights between cities in the United States. Swifties in return are arguing that Taylor can fly wherever and whenever she wants, because it's her mode of transportation and she pays for it and she just chooses to use it. On top of that, one Swiftie claimed, we drive cars and ride bikes or take the bus, and Tay Tay flies. So what? What does it matter? It's just a way to get from point A to point B. What are your thoughts on the controversy surrounding Taylor Swift's billionaire status? Is it possible for her to be an ethical billionaire or should anyone with that amount of wealth just be shunned by the media and the rest of the average population? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. This has been another segment of FTD News. I'm your host Pepe. I hope you guys have a splendid day.